On a pretty consistent basis, people ask me, Jason, why don't you team up with other groups? Why don't you get involved and, uh, for the benefit of all, work with other individuals, other groups, so on and so forth, because we all want the same thing, don't we? Well, that's a loaded question, because no, we don't, first of all. And second of all, I have tried to work with other individuals and other groups. However, when it came down to brass tacks, things are usually not what they seem. With regards to the way they present themselves and what actually goes on behind the scenes. This video that you're about to see is a historical documentation of me attempting to work with a group, an established group. The name of the group is the Purple Thumb Community. I don't know if they're still active or not. I really don't. Um, I just looked at their website for the first time in, in a year or two, and I noticed that they have made some major changes, and it doesn't, there's some parts that actually come up 404 where there's nothing there. So I don't know if they're active or not. But at the time, I would have to say this is almost three years ago, uh, because the video you're about to see uh, let's see, I published, I recorded and published it on September 18th, 2020. And at the time, I was approached by someone from the Purple Thumb community who asked me if I would be their correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar tutor that I would come on and, and be the head of whatever it is that they had going on with regards to quantum grammar, i.e. correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Now, I was wary of these things, so I looked into who they were, and I really liked what I saw. I was really taken by the way they presented themselves in the public. And this individual, who I will not name, because I don't... They, they Soon after, they left the Purple Thumb community, and I, I don't think they're involved with them at all uh, for many of the same reasons that I'm not involved with them or didn't get involved with them uh, any further than what you're about to see here but uh, they said well Lady Crown would like you to do this or do that and I said well if Lady Crown wants that then she needs to contact me not you I don't go through messengers or middlemen so I have her send me an email and apply for a workshop or request a consultation so lady crown did and then we had a consultation and she laid it out she's very straightforward she told me what uh, what she was looking for she said she was looking for number one someone to teach correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar and number two they needed help creating a claim of the claim of the live life for them as, as specifically their people the native peoples of New Zealand slash Australia, they needed help in creating that. And of course, I feel everyone should have the opportunity to have a live life claim and not be charged money for it. So I liked the idea. So I agreed on certain terms and conditions. I said, number one, someone is going to have to learn the grammar. I'm not going to be the only one that knows the grammar here. So one of you is going to have to learn the grammar. And since you, meaning Lady Crown, is the leader, she would have to take classes and learn the grammar. She agreed to that. The other individual who con first contacted me, she also took a class or two from me. But that's neither here nor there. So I agreed to it. I said I would help them create the live life claim if, number one, they kept my name confidential. They didn't tell anyone that I was helping them to create a claim of the live life. I'm more than happy to help them, and then they can use it and give it to their people however they want. Just don't bring my name into it. That's all I asked, number one. Number two, do not charge money for it. Because as I just mentioned, I feel everyone should have an equal opportunity to have a claim of the live life. 
And then number three, uh, and because this was uh, what something Lady Crown showed me during our video chat, she was able to create cards, much like the material of a credit card. Uh, she could create print cards like that. So I said, could you print a CPAS C treaty for me? And she said, sure, I'll do that for you. You just tell me what to, to put on it, and I'll put it on there, and we'll design it. I said, cool, let's do it. So we did. So I began tutoring her. We began working on the Live Life claim, which, by the way, folks, the Live Life claim was like, I want to say approximately three or four, maybe five hour or so long workshops that I worked with her which I did not ask for any donation or anything. I, I gifted my time to them because I really liked what they were doing. Okay. In the meantime, I was also teaching grammar to Lady Crown and to uh, the other individual I mentioned. Outside of all of that, on the periphery, you had Colin Russell hyphen J. Colin Gould, whom Lady Crown first contacted. Before she contacted me, she contacted him. And, um, yeah, I don't think you can see that video anymore. I think someone took it down. I don't know who, where Russell wants to work with her and everything. And then she began questioning him. He claimed to be the head of the IMF. Like he controlled the, the International Monetary Fund. He said that he controlled that. And he was, you know, if you're familiar with Russell, he makes a lot of claims that he is this, that, and the third. You know, he has a lot of titles that he claims to hold. The thing about titles, you have to be able to perform on them to hold them. So anyways, when he told her that he was head of the Inter uh, International Monetary Fund, Lady Crown then said to him, well, that International Monetary Fund stole billions of dollars from my people. So if you control it, then can you please release that back to us because it's rightfully ours. And then all of a sudden... Russell J. Gould cut communication with her <laughs> and then started bad-mouthing the Purple Thumb community and slandering Lady Crown and so on and so forth after she asked him that. Also, there's another uh, detail to that where Lady Crown said that her and her husband bought a claim of the live life from Muriel Mita Biggs. And when they got it, because, I mean, Lady Crown's a pretty sharp pretty sharp individual she noticed the mistakes on it so she asked muriel for closure on these things and then muriel started ignoring her and then lady crown asked russell j gould well what about this live life claim there's mistakes on it and then he said oh i don't have nothing to do with that you have to talk to the red thumb club or whatever like he totally washed his hands of that so th those are some little interesting details that go into this situation keep in mind the video you're about to see, when I made it, I was totally new and fresh to the Purple Thumb community scenario, situation, biosphere, and I liked what I saw, and this was a video that I made to introduce myself to them. Uh, and what was going to, supposed to happen was that anyone in the Purple Thumb community that wanted to learn their grammar would then contact me via the correct channel, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com, and apply for a workshop, and that, that's how it was going to go. And then eventually maybe I would do group seminars, but that was, that was uh, an idea we had for the future. So anyways, let's take a look at the Purple Thumb Community website real quick here. Now here's one more detail that I forgot. Apologies. I'm getting old. One of the other terms and conditions that I put on to help, you know, helping them with the live life claim is that they were not to modify or change it without first contacting me and running it through me so that I could make sure it was correct. Okay, that was another term and condition. This live life claim ended up being a few pages long simply because they wanted to give a continuance of the evidence for their ancestry, which I helped them to create that on that claim of the live life. This is a long story, but I'm going to try and shorten it up a little bit. Uh, so, first, let's take a look at if we can see who they are, who are they? So I'm going to try and see if I can get a picture of anybody, who, who these people are. Suver and Postmasters. Let's see, who are we? Who are the principals? Don't 
There are no pictures of any postmasters on here. No one credentials themselves. No one's taking accountability for what's on this website. I'm going to see if I can find a picture of Lady Crown. It appears that some of these pictures have Lady Crown in them because I know what she looks like. And just so that you have a picture of who that is in your mind, I'm going to find a picture on Google of her so that, so that you know who I'm talking about. So this picture is from September 23rd, 2020, which is actually shortly after I published the video you're about to see. Uh, but in any case, that's what she looks like. And here's what happened, okay? While I was helping them, helping her with the claim of the live life for their people, she violated every single term and condition that I put down except for one of them. She went on a podcast and mentioned that they were working with me to create a live life claim. After I asked her not to do that and she agreed to it. Number one. Number two, she began charging money for the claim of the live life. She began advertising it, uh, a fee or donation for the claim of the live life. And number three, she began modifying the language on the claim of the live life without contacting me or checking with me. Now you may say, well, Jason, these are just small things. No, they're not. They're terms and conditions of a contract. If you agree to a contract, you must perform on those things or you do not stand in honor. The only performance she did was that she worked with me to create the CPAS that I use on that credit card type material and she sent me three copies of it. That's the only thing she performed on. <laughs> Every single thing else uh, she violated. And again, as I said, the initial person who contacted me from them left the Purple Thumb community because they saw that they thought it appeared as though money was the main focus of the group because they started getting investors and, uh, and things like that. Oh, and the other thing that happened was that I had a no trespass placard, a sign that my good buddy Joshua from Texas fabricated for me, helped create. Uh, because he can do things like that because he's a sharp fellow and an awesome brother. They took that template without my permission or without Josh's permission and began selling it on their website without even asking me or asking Josh. And I don't know if this individual is involved with the Purple Thumb community anymore, but an individual named Andrew Devine, whom... I got to know him, was acquaintances with over the years. I contacted him because he, at the time, was a sovereign postmaster with the Purple Thumb community. I said, what is going on, man? Why are they selling this shit? And I didn't give them permission to do that. What are you doing here? They violated every term and condition in the contract. And blah, blah, blah. And he's, he was like, well, I don't know what they're doing. I can't control what they're doing. I just want to help the whole of the community. So in other words, he was telling me he was overlooking all of these things because he felt that the benefits far outweighed these transgressions that were happening. But he did try and get the no trespass taken down, which I think he eventually did. So shout out to you, Andrew, for, tr for trying that, to get that down and, and correcting that for me. So all that in, in light, take all of that, what I just showed you, what I just told you, there's a lot more, but I'm not going to go into it. Suffice to say, I broke bulk with Lady Crown and the Purple Thumb community and uh, went our separate ways. And as you can see, they don't use correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar at all. Uh, they just do their own thing, which good for them. Wish them the best. This video was created in the light of a fresh face coming meeting with a new vessel, excited about the possibilities of working with people who are with the condition of state of psychology of positive performance, wanting to do good things for the correct reasons, for the correct volition, before I found out what the actual volition was, which was not what they told me from the get-go. 
and they violated every term and condition of our contract except for one and it is what it is it happens and this friends and neighbors is why i do not affiliate with groups or get involved in any mess like that Greetings, Purple Thumb community. Welcome to this confidential video, confidential between yourselves and myself. I'm speaking with you using colloquial, plain, simple English for the ease of the communication. My correct name is colon Jason hyphen Matthew colon Glass. And I come in the capacity of friendship to your community. I'm very honored to have been asked to to have been invited here by colon lady colon crown and to tell you a little bit about myself and my functions and what it is that I actually do. I'm with the public claim of grammar tutor. I teach correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, i.e. quantum grammar to those who are open to learn it. I do that via my public YouTube channel www.youtube.com forward slash Jason Matthew Glass and also via confidential workshops uh, you can apply for those using my email vessel jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com what is quantum grammar? quantum grammar is a grammar of closure it enables you as a live life claimant to make claims of fact in the now space now, you can get more information on this on my YouTube channel. People always ask me, um, where do I start? Well, wherever you, wherever you are, that's where you are. And um, jump in at any point on any video and just start watching and learning because that's how I did it. A little bit of background on myself. I started back in early in 2017. And it took me about 1,000 hours to get anywhere near proficient in using this and be able to perform with it. Fortunately, I've been able to distill that down into these one hour workshops and these very brief videos on my YouTube channel to make it more accessible and easier, hopefully, for others to learn it. Let me make it very clear that I am with the position of peace and neutrality, with the performance of the balance of the honor and the grace and the maintenance of the rule one rule equal those are the terms and conditions of my vessel construct everything that I teach in my confidential workshops are avail is available on my YouTube channel available to the public meaning there are no secrets there are no tricks it's all out in the open and you're more than welcome to approach either venue and and learn if you wish uh, what drew me to this purple thumb community is the fact that I noticed there are a lot of congruent values between us. The purple thumb community is also peaceful and neutral. It also performs with the uh, balance of the honor and the grace and the maintenance of the rule one rule equal. Now I'm sure there are some people out there in the purple thumb community that, that already know me, perhaps have even done workshops with me. I'll just let you know that I think that the purple thumb community is outstanding in the functions that they're with the vision of performing and are performing in the now space right now as we speak and I look forward to a growing relationship of honor and grace and symbiosis thanks for having me and I hope this answers some questions and uh, have a blessed day if you'd like to learn correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar Contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. 
uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.